Hi and welcome, my name is Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes we're going to take a look at the new in-app search in Photoshop. In the upper right hand corner there's a search icon next to the workspace picker, or you can use the edit menu and choose search, or just use the keyboard shortcut command or control F. Now by default we're going to search everything, so I will type in the word, type, the search results are going to show us not only different tools within Photoshop, but also different menu items or anything like maybe a panel that's related to the word that we searched on. And below that, we'll get a link to the most relevant content that's found in CC Learn, and below that, a number of results from Adobe Stock. So let's just narrow this down for a moment. I'm going to click on the Photoshop option, and this time I'll start typing in oil paint. I have two different options to choose from. I can either rerun the filter that was just ran, or if I want to see the options for it, I can select that. I'll click OK in order to apply that, and you can see how easy it is to find not only tools, but also things like menu items using search. Let's return back to search. I'll use the same keyboard shortcut, Command or Control F, and this time we'll go to Learn. I'm going to type in layers in order to search for relevant content. And we can see that as I scroll down, Photoshop's in-app search will continue to give me additional content. As soon as I see what I'm looking for, I simply click on it. That will launch CC Learn in a browser where I can access the information that I need. All right, returning back to Photoshop one more time and returning back to search, I will click on stock, but this time I'm going to type in the word ice. I'm looking for a texture here in order to overlay on top of this image. As soon as I see one that I want to try, I can click on that. Photoshop will automatically download it from Adobe Stock. We can see that it's added it to my library as well as to my open document. I'll scale that up and make it a little bit larger, tap Return or Enter to apply that transformation, and then just change the blend mode to overlay in order to get that to blend. That's a little too strong, so I'll just decrease the opacity a bit right there. And then if I wanted to use this in my final image or my final layout in order to license it, all I need to do is right click and choose License Image. So there you go, using in-app search in Photoshop can really help you find not only the tools, but also the information and the imagery that you need for your projects. I'm Julianne Koss, thanks for watching.